What's up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys really quickly how I make my breakfast smoothies in the morning. Making smoothies is so easy and there's not really a right or wrong way to make them. I get my frozen fruit from Target, but any frozen fruit is fine. Just get whichever ones you like. I normally use fresh bananas and fresh kale. Then I just use some different seasoned nuts. Once again, you can just get whichever ones you like. I normally do walnuts, almonds, and then some, what are those? Chai seeds. I also normally add in a little bit of ginger and some coconut water. The blender that I have is an on-the-go blender. I think it's from Target. It's about $25. So if you find yourself rushing in the mornings, it's really convenient because you can just put the lid on and take the whole container with you. When I make my smoothies, I normally put the frozen fruit in the bottom of the smoothie just so they can have time to start melting. I do have a baby smoothie, so I find that it's best to put the soft stuff like the bananas at the top so that it's not so rough on the blade. I think that a key component to making your smoothies more filling is by making sure that you add some type of protein. The nuts and seeds that I put in there are what really help keep me full. I'm also going to add in some kale eventually and that's another ingredient that's good for you and also helps to keep you full. And then you just blend it all up. I fill mine all the way up to the brim because this way I'm able to make two smoothies. And I don't have to worry about waking up every single day to make a fresh one. I can just make enough for two of them, drink half today, and then put the other half in the fridge and drink it for breakfast tomorrow. You can blend it for however long you want. I don't mind chunks in mine, so I normally do about 30 seconds and it's still kind of thick. Now that there's room at the top, I can add in my kale. I'm just pressing that in there. And I guess I forgot to add chai seeds, so I'm adding the- Ooh, girl, that's a lot of chai seeds. I'm adding those in there too, and I'm just going to blend it for a little bit longer. And here's the finished product. I love how these smoothies taste, and I love how they keep me full for a little bit throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.